Is driving for Grubhub a good side hustle in 2024? You know, that other food delivery side hustle you can drive for? I don't think so, but I'm one driver in one marketplace. JB's going to try his first ever shift driving for Grubhub. And I tell you, you have to multi-app. Just drive it on different platforms at the same time so you can select the best order for you. And if you didn't have one of these options here, you might be missing out. So let's see if this shift driving for Grubhub for the first time is actually worth it. After over one year of waiting, I am finally a Grubhub driver. A wait list for a year for Grubhub. I've seen things like that for DoorDash, Amazon Flex, maybe Walmart Spark. Is Grubhub really that popular? All right, first up. order is up. $20, 23 cents, good cash flow, but it's a stacked order, but still. So it's two or more orders for one driver. It's still $10 per order for 11.5 miles. It's not a bad dollars to mile ratio. What do you got to say, JB? And I can already tell uh, I like this a lot more Ooh. than DoorDash. I don't think DoorDash is that bad, is it, in your marketplace? JB likes this one, though. $20 for about 11 miles. It is two orders. However, exactly. it is giving me approximately 26 minutes to pick up this order, unlike DoorDash, where it gives me five minutes to pick it up, and I'm seven miles away from when I picked it up. And then you go, and it says, you got a new offer. Would you like to accept it? And then you view it, and you decide, ah. How's that one? Oh, by the way, JB's in Pennsylvania. He's outside of uh, Philadelphia, I believe. McDonald's, yeah, this one's... uh under yeah a dollar a mile decline tea bag time pizza bag we got to give a name for the pizza bag here I, i'm not i'm not set on pea bag i think d bag and pea bag would get confused oh you need a catering Brother, bag oh my gosh work with me here <laughs> so i like how the grub hub works it has both orders you say you picked it up swipe picked it up swipe i like that a lot it gives me 20 minutes Instead of DoorDash, where it gives me like three. Oh, by the way, take a look at this. I think a lot of people miss this. Grubhub, at least what I've seen, it can be good for tips. So it's nine twenty six payout. It's a two dollar base pay, which is about right. That's like the minimum for DoorDash as well. But it's a seven dollar and twenty six cent tip for just one point three four miles. I average about like four ish dollars on food delivery tips in my market again here in pittsburgh pennsylvania so second drop off ten dollars 97 cents see that one's 10 miles though which i don't love so there's where the mileage comes in i thought he had better mileage on that though so 497 base pay and then a six dollar tip again higher than my typical average there next up we got this offer for china uh, dollars to mile like how much are you getting paid for the mile driven it could be better there because like, think about this. If you're doing a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty per mile, it's a lot of driving for the shift. And then the uh, profit versus using your personal vehicle, the expenditures of that, it's not going to be as good. But cash flow wise, I mean, $15 for a single order. In a palace, it's 10 miles, but all of it is highway miles. So shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes. So far, so far. That's a good trade off though. That is something to think about. So if it is a dollar fifty, you could take a little bit of a hit on the payout per mile if you think it's not going to take as much time. So you can squeeze in more earnings in that hour, perhaps. Woo! Okay. Friday night, D bag comes to play. <laughs> Dude. That reminds me, I want to design a better delivery bag for you. Comment down below what features would make a better delivery bag and catering bag and pizza bag for you. Because that's exactly what my DoorDash bag looks like. And you can see it's a pain to close and everything. I literally just gave you a compliment. Yep. Another Show me better solid mileage. fine. Ooh, I like that one. 1466. What's going on, Grubhub? See? 7.5 miles, that's not too bad. This is why I'm telling you, you have to have different options. Even if you think like, oh, it's not that good, don't delete these apps. And if you haven't signed up, like I just did DoorDash, I just did Uber Eats, you need to sign up for all three of these platforms. I mean, an hour and a half in and we have $50. Woo. Do I need to do another Grubhub shift? And Grubhub decides, I'm going to give you Another good offer. Are they just butter? Oh, that is a nice offer. Chipotle, 1043, 4.6 miles. Again, like $2 a mile. 
it's uh, a shorter run too. Stirring me up because it's my first shift, or is this like actually legit? Because that's a good question. Do you think gig apps in general send you better offers, pay, bonuses, incentives when you're new? I mean, for instance, DoorDash gives you for your first 50 deliveries features of Dasher Rewards or, you know, top Dasher priority access if your market still has those older programs. But order requests, do you think there's anything where they give you better order requests when they're new? Nonetheless, I did just have my first decline. It was an add on mm. $4 for 2.4 miles. I Hold on. Okay. JB declined this one. Would I decline this though? And would you decline this? Comment down below. For Chipotle, he's already going to the Chipotle. So I'm thinking that here, it's an additional $4 for 2.4 more miles. Honestly, I wouldn't decline that one. I mean, it's close to $2 a mile. The dollar a mile is good. It's a short run. You're already at the Chipotle, but the only thing, okay? And again, let me know down below if you take this one and we'll see what JB does here is that it is the Chipotle, so you got to use your market knowledge. Like, is this Chipotle typically on the ball? Do I typically have to wait? If I just got it, did they just get it? And it's going to take like 15 minutes of wait time. I didn't really feel like it was worth it. So we're just going to do the Chipotle one. Well, that was about a 12 minute wait. Not worth it. But if you waited 12 minutes, which you wouldn't have known, then perhaps that other order would have been ready or it was already ready and it wouldn't have cost you any more time. See, that's the risk, right? That's the risk versus reward of those add-ons. But if it's at the same restaurant, close to $2 a mile, I'm taking that almost every time. We are two hours and 15 minutes in and we have $60. Pretty solid. Yeah. I mean, Grubhub, what are you doing to me? This is juiciness. We might close it out here tonight with this offer because... Let's see it. Josie again, seven dollars mm -hmm. for like 1.5 miles. Come on. Oh, we got a second shift. Why not? Let's compare, right? Actually, what I just told you about do new drivers and couriers or whatever get better offers? So we can compare that with the first shift. Granted, you know, he's still new, but it's a different day, probably maybe a different time. I'm really interested now. Is it going to be still higher than five dollar tips? and just solid orders all around. Currently noon, and we just noon, got this okay. juicy offer. It is two. What? Oh, it is two, okay. 14.29 though for five miles. Now you're getting to like $3 a mile range. Ooh. There's the tip right there, 10.29. It took me 28 minutes to do that first no offer. Waited about one. 10 minutes, finally got this offer. It's a lot of miles, but it's all highway miles. So should take about decent pay. 30 minutes maybe instead of driving back to the zone got this offer i mean it's like dollar per mile but yeah Ugh. it's taking me back to my zone so it's not a bad idea i mean doordash has the dash along the way it says navigate back in a zone and or you can just switch zones if it's busy in the new zone that you've ended in grubhub Uber Eats doesn't have that. Taking Let's a look at it. the numbers, we worked five hours and made one hundred and eight dollars and thirty one. Sounds decent. Or yeah. Twenty one dollars and sixty six cents per hour, which is very, very good. We drove eighty one point nine two mm, miles okay. or a dollar per mile of one dollar and thirty. All right. So one thirty two per mile doing twenty one dollars an hour on Grubhub. Is that a win? What do you think? I think that is the inverse of what I've been seeing on Dasher Rewards, where my pay per mile is super high, but then my earnings per hour is a little bit lower, hovering around $16, $18 an hour. This is the inverse. This is like a little bit higher earnings per hour, but then the pay per mile is lower. So which one would you rather have? I mean, obviously, I've said this before. Obviously, I would like both. I want high pay per mile and I want high pay per hour for you. But if you had to pick though, because what this is telling me for JB is he drove more miles. So it's more wear and tear on the vehicle. It's more expenses, obviously gas and all of that. But the orders he was getting, it was not taking that much time, even though again, he mentioned it might be higher mileage because it might be highway driving, like he said. And then the cash flow was pretty decent. Like they were paying pretty good 
it was just farther miles sometime. We were making a lot more money per order using Grubhub. However, there was a lot of in-between time where I wasn't getting offers Pretty much, because exactly. there's not as much as DoorDash or Uber Eats in this area. But my honest opinion of Grubhub is I like it a lot. However, I don't think it's good enough just standalone like a lot of the apps. Bingo. I think if you're multi-apping, having Grubhub in there is just juicy because the offers are fat. And Bingo. That's exactly how I feel about it here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Not to the degree of volume. Again, this is just my driver profile. It may be different for you and certainly in different marketplaces and all of that. Like JB said, Grubhub, the volume, he experienced the same thing. The volume wasn't quite there, but then the orders that he got were really good. So is Grubhub worth it in 2024? How did JB do on his first shift? I think he did okay. And I think for you... Remember, download DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, maybe local and regional options so you can multi-app, beat online, selecting the best order for you and using Grubhub as a filler app because maybe you're doing most of your like 70% of orders on DoorDash and you fill in with, let's say, Uber Eats and Grubhub.